My name is Steve Duke. I'm the train park manager for Canyons Park City, Utah. Hey, right now we're standing in the middle of what used to be Snow Dancer Ski Run. We have now dedicated this uh, amount of land to the Transitions Train Park. Transitions Train Park Run is 1.1 miles long. Um, it will be consisting of three separate lines all the way down and about two, three quarters away it splits into two different runs. So essentially it's a train park zone, not a single run, but a lot of cool stuff's going to go down here. Right now we're currently working on natural features, log slides, um, things that really accentuate the, the land here in the Transitions Train Park. Uh, we, we'll go down, we can check out the new rainbow log, we've got a, a 12 foot tall pole jam, a V-log, we have a de flat down schedule to be put in, um, a couple of uh, already natural logs that have fallen, we've actually made it so you can ride them by uh, clearing a couple of brushes that the brush out from getting into it and getting off. And that'll be kind of, you'll be able to duck into the trees, get some natural stuff, and then come back out and get to uh, get to the park features, you know, boxes, rails, we've got really cool, uh, really cool rails this year, designed by Daryl Young, built by Cab Rails. Daryl Young's been hitting uh, a lot of city city features, and he works for us here at the Canyons. And he really liked a couple of uh, natural uh, na existing city rails, and uh, he convinced me that we need to have those here. And so we've actually uh, taken that design, made it even better, and uh, they'll be in the train park. We actually bought a storage container that we'll be setting up just like you would see in the city. Um, almost raw to, to the T. We've got a little modifications to make it better to, for people to slide, but it's straight up a storage container set in the middle of the park that you guys can jib. So um, we get, we've got car, you know, we've got like the Skull Candy sound tube that we had last year. It's uh, it's coming back again. So we'll have music playing the whole time while you're jibbing it. We'll have um, three different jump zones in this park from the never ever jumps to uh, to the uh, traditional big kicker, 50, 60 foot kickers. This year we've done a lot of cool things with the lifts here. Like uh, it's, it's a long, it seems to me like a long time coming. Um, we've listened to everybody kind of talk about what they would like to see at the canyons and now we're actually doing it. We, uh, we've taken out the old Golden Eagle double chair and we're putting in a, a state of art high, uh, high tech bubble chair, which it will have heated seats and a bubble to keep you from the weather. This bubble chair um, starts in the base area and goes all the way up to the, res the old Respect train park run, right smack dab in the middle. Um, we've moved the gondola base terminal to the top of the cabriolet, so all you local kids who, who got off the cabriolet and they, they're sludging across the asphalt, you don't have to do that no longer. You'll, you'll get off the cabriolet, jump right onto the gondola and uh, be up into Saddleback area and like way less time than you had last year. Yeah, currently we're in the lower portion of the Transitions train park. This is where we'll, we'll split the traffic from the uh, you know, small, medium feature users to the large feature users. On the right side you can see over here, uh, this, is where the, this is where the larger jumps are going to be. In the neighborhood of uh, 50 to 60 foot jumps, three to four in a row. Um, starting up at this, the upper point, continuing through here, and then on the left over here, is where the beginners will be taking, or the small features will be taking the riders that aren't ready for uh, 60 foot jumps around the bigger feature. So um, there'll be tons of little like mani pads, you know, little step downs for those guys to try out, little tabletops for those guys to try out, a couple bank hip, hips for them to try out, little tiny rails, um, maybe a, another advanced type of rail, all the way out through the bottom of the park. So take the new Iron Mountain Zone, which is it's sick, it's insane. Like you go over there and and you check out what we've cut in the run wise and check out the whole how big the area truly is. Like Iron Mountain's gonna be in the next spot for like slaying some powder. So there's a lot of cool stuff that's uh that we've done this summer all at once, you know, and this is just stage one. We've got a lot of other things in the works that's gonna even make this place bigger and better throughout the season and then the next seasons to come.